What up, what up? This is the 116 Life of Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. Why did your, your host, voice change like Ace that? Harris. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we kicking off, y'all. I went in straight character, but I just put this mask on. Uh, I'm here Who with, is this man? I'm here with uh, 1K Few, 1K P-Sun. Uh, and my, my, my co host, DJ Mike LV. Talk to him nice. I got, I'm also here with my man, Not Jacob always. Biz Morris. Yeah, He's going to be our special guest, man, you next know, episode. One, one of one these one days. Day. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You know, we have. Hey, yo. <laughs> we, we uh, have you spoken enough? <laughs> Oh yeah, give it up. Yeah, we we gonna have Biz on here, man. You know, affirmative action, man. We gonna have Biz here on the the, the diversity series finale. You know, when it matters most. Um, (laughs) The series finale. (laughs) Shout out Biz, man, for holding down the the mixing. The very end. That's all. And for head of IT here at Reach Records. Um, Yo. Can we get the can we get the camera to swing around, please? Nah, we oh, definitely oh, can't. Oh, they can see everything. They can see the shoes. But I ain't gonna lie, these, these cameras is. I was one time I was like, yo, somebody was like, I think uh, the producer was just, like, watch just, your phone, people can see. You know, um, I just want to honor. Yeah, Jacob I just kind of source. <laughs> yeah, the boys yeah. emotion. Yeah. So, boys emotion. So those those of y'all who are show. listening live to the serious radio, you can't see, but one K few and one K P sun look like. Little 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 one K twins today. Uh, dang, and why you gotta put little in front of it? Like, <laughs> we got, we, we, said, we got it on. God, we got it on. Little little, little one K. Those that are listening, hey, we got it on. Know that. Hey man, they dripping yeah. though. Yo, those that are listening, they're they're they're, they're, they're six foot three. They're not little. <laughs> not little. A young, uh, uh, big. Uh, 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 young men. Everything is big. Dope. I just feel underdressed sitting next to them. Honestly, I just want to. <laughs> I feel like man, that's just the worst day to come on the why show. Why lock the door, Biz? No. How y'all feeling today? Just like, just checking in. How y'all feeling? Yeah. Mental health check-in. Lovely. Good. Hey man, I'm blessed and highly favored. Yeah. Blessed and highly. What, what about, what about like mentally? How y'all feeling? You know what I'm saying? I'm going crazy too. Okay. Like, are you actually going crazy? Like, are you so, like, like, clinically? <laughs> nah, I'm good mentally though. I ain't going to count. Like, it was a little journey um, for a little minute though. Because like just, you know, we just, we, we just had our son and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, shout out. Oh, uh, tell everybody, tell 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 the world um, if, if you care to share the name. I think I think this is a fly name, so I figured. Oh yeah, yeah, my son Easton. Um, mm. that's, a, Easton. that's a hard name. No. Mm. Yeah, man, for sure. Easton. Easton. Eastside. Hey, that's hard. No. Eastside. Easton. <laughs> but nah, man, like just I really kind of forgot the process of how. Yo, honestly, <laughs> I forgot too. I'm, no gonna have, I'm gonna have one. I don't know what I'm Woo! getting. Boy, I did. Bro, I think like, about it how, every time. What about how you? does that feel for y'all? Like. How does that feel for y'all? Like you just had a baby, mm. and y'all just moved, and yeah. you're like you're a full time artist. Like how does that? I feel like it's a lot in that. Bro, it is. It, it really is. But I ain't gonna lie though. Like if, if you got a passion for something and you dedicated to something, yeah. it's like you're willing to really go through hell and high waters for it. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And um, and then I, and I ain't just saying like having a family is like it's hell, but yeah. but it is a, it is a lot. It's, it's a journey for sure. For sure. And um, I feel like once you really Get organized and scheduling together, cause really it's all about communication. Yo, I've been seeing you though, honestly, cause few. I feel like few. Let's just say early few. My few be like, yo, I'll be there at eleven, pull up at like one <laughs> thirty. No, yo, this six. past year you've been moving different. Hey man, yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you, shout out maturity and adulthood. Hey man, yeah. shout out, shout out for I'm real. I'm like, few be here I, at ten o'clock be in just the morning. Now, I'll be getting here right now, mm. man. I, if it was you, last you, year, you move different. Yeah, and you follow up. You just. You just moving different. Nah, for sure. Peace on how, yeah. growing. How you feeling, man? How 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 you feeling just mentally, man, spiritually? How yeah, things? I'm, I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? It it's a journey for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, God be with me, you know what I'm but saying? Y'all so, always uh, I like I like about talking to them. They all, there's never like no some people, man, they be having I ask them how they doing, man. I be talk, listening for like a whole two hours of stuff. <laughs> nah, but like you know, it's just a season I'm in right now. <laughs> 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 but nah, but you know, glad God, you asked that. Be I've been, though, I've been no, all over I, the place. I, I, I'm, I'm more so making fun of like just how Christians always make something like yeah, more than some of like, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and then and then you, and they use like trigger words like seasons and. Hey, but to and, be and, but to be saying, honest, like, that really that really ain't Christ like for real. What you mean? Because in James, you know what I'm saying it's like when trials okay. come your way, you gotta consider that joy. Mm-hmm. So it's like you like when somebody a lot of clips today, guys. Yeah, clips. So when somebody be like, "How you doing?" You be like, um, uh, it's like, "Boy, you weak." You sound like boy. Eeyore. Mm-hmm. That's true like, though. You weak. I know. So like, God get his biggest battles, his strongest soldiers. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I feel that. I feel like sometimes it's just we are in a season of 
Mental. <laughs> 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 we're in a season of mental having seasons. Like we're just, we just. It's like I think it's also generational too. Cause if you ask like you ask like my 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 parents, like my uncles and aunts, you ask them how they doing, they always gonna be like, "Thank God for life, man." You know, things are things are going well. Shout out. It's, it's never like a, uh, you know, I'm in a season, I'm in a trial. They're always speaking Some as if things are things are going not perfect. But God is still with them. Fact. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And sometimes you gotta appreciate folks like that. Cause yeah. even if you if mm-hmm. if you are going through it, it's like, all right, it, it's like bring you back too. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like the genuine people that really just this how I, I feel, and I'm not just saying it, you know what I'm saying? That, that <laughs> definitely you gotta appreciate that. No, I feel, yeah, cause sometimes, yeah, it's like, yo, are you like, all right, I, I get so. it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want, want people to be like, you know, like, Lying when they ain't having the best of day. Yeah. If you you can honestly tell someone, yo, I'm 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 good. You can just kind of yeah. tell folks when you ask someone, they like they bringing the whole weight of the world on you. <laughs> I got this going on. Okay, I got a pimp kids. Well, are you three. breathing? Yeah. So, <laughs> you have you have you, right. you ate you ate today. You know what I'm saying? And, and then they really just be want sympathy instead of mm. prayer. Dang. Mm. You feel nah, what I'm saying? It's like, about that's, that's, about that's you really can hear just pray for me. Do you want prayer or not? Just like, pray. We can cut all this conversation. Do you want prayer or not? No, you want somebody to feel sorry for you. Man, that's really what it's not like that, that that's that is a fact the bishop I, I, is in I, I the know bill. a lot of people like that, <laughs> that are very much like i'm only gonna tell you this so you can be like oh man are you okay? right you know right. what i'm saying oh. like as opposed to just like yo this is what it is yeah Pray for me. Like, Dang, exactly. that's that's a, exactly. that's a nugget i, I love yeah. that for so sure. and if people, you don't do that then it's like oh he ain't even yeah he ain't even bite right, mm. right. i just i just want to care with you. Don't care, I don't like yeah. that. I don't like man, that dude. Crazy. No, no, I don't like Christians. Like that's how people ca- cancel out Christians. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't like Christians. They well, don't feel sorry for you. I, I mean, feel like Christian ain't like being. I think I feel like being Christian in this day and age is like not cool. Mm. At the at, at the most that it's been not cool. Mm. If that makes sense. I feel like the this our we'll make you say that. It, it's like I feel like I, what I mean by it is I feel like I feel like Christianity is very like. Ew, you're Christian? Like mm. now, yeah. more than ever before. Really? That's I, what I feel like. I, I, and, I, I, I got two uh, takes on that. I got two I takes know. on that. Uh, I feel, no, I feel where you're coming from in, in, in the side of, um, how can I say it? Like Christians these days, well, you know, Christians always used to judge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But these days, it's like, oh, nah, boy, you... But I'm a super Christian, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and he just got saved yesterday. Oh, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? It's 100%. like, but now I'm a super boy. If you, boy, if you wear Jordans, boy, you sinning, boy. Yeah. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Be. So it's like now, if you be like, oh, I'm a Christian, be like, ah, oh, boy, I, I can't be around you because you gonna, I can't yeah. do nothing around you. You gonna judge me? You feel what I'm saying? And I yeah. feel like that's that, that that's kind of where you come I, from in there. But I feel like, but but on the other side of me too, I feel like a lot of people not really confident in where they at. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? That's and, true. And, and and that was me at a certain time. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? It's like even with doing, you know. Like gospel rap, that's why I really start saying gospel rap. Man, is that because, thank you for that, bro. Man, like because I, I I was one of them folks saying, bro, don't call me no Christian rap. I'm just a Christian that rap. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? And because in in reality, I was really I was really ashamed. Mm. Well, well, not not really ashamed. How can I put how it? Like, you, I feel like I felt kind of uncool, more, more insecure, uncomfortable, yeah, insecure, insecure, just uncomfortable. Like, yeah, uncomfortable. You feel what I'm saying? Like to call myself like a Christian rapper and stuff like that. But I feel like especially during the pandemic, God kind of sat me down mm. and like just. Bro, like I'm the one who gave you the sauce. I'm the one who gave you the talent and everything you need to do. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is do it for me. Right. And um, I, I bring everything else to you because another thing I learned is like if you do stuff for yourself, God gonna put a cap on it every time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a certain level you can go. You can't. You ain't gonna boy, ever go all the way preaching. up if it's for self. Yeah. But if you try mm. to, well, if you do it for God, but He gonna give you everything that you. That's, know what that's so good. And, and man. even if it ain't everything, bro, like He gonna give you what you need. What you bro, need. Like, yeah. So I feel like there was definitely like a shift in your. Your presentation, your music, um, you said after pandemic, because I feel like the As I Am album leading up to that project, you were kind of like putting out the gospel rap is back campaign mm-hmm. all on your socials. And I, I just yeah. saw a different few. Yeah. yeah. How you were interacting with your fans, with your music and your brand. Talk to us a little I, bit about. I, 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 yeah. I, I want to kind of explain the gospel rap yeah. back slowly, too, because a lot of people be like, oh, boy, you, boy, you dog and CHA, boy, you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never left. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm like, bro, like, nah, when bro. Like, leave, gospel rap bro. is back. It's bigger than a, it's bigger than a, than a slogan, bro. It, 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 it's really in my heart. You feel what I'm saying? Because mm. that's where I came from. That's how I grew up. You feel what I'm saying? It's like I got, we got the church, church out trap house songs. Like, I, my church was literally next to a trap. You feel what I'm saying? It's like I really came up in church, but at the same time, I came up around culture as well. You feel right. what I'm saying? So me, I'm like, nah, bro. I gotta go back to my roots, bro. I gotta go back to where I was really. 
you know what I'm saying, rooted in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie, when I first came to CHH, I felt like I had to water myself down to something that I wasn't. You I feel, feel you. what I'm saying? And, and, and that just made me feel uncomfortable. And if I'm uncomfortable, I'm making other people feel uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying, trying to put on and be something that I'm not. But I ain't going to lie, man. Like, I, I really... Like, guy really came and told me, like, bro, just be yourself, bro. Like, stop trying to put on for these folks. So so when you say gospel rap is back, you don't mean, like... It's back to me, because it, it left that's, me. That's what, you feel that's what I'm I love that. I think some people heard that. that feel, yeah, they so offended. I mean, what you thought, P-Sun, when, when, when y'all was kind of, like, Yeah, pretty that much, banner, that's you know what the, I'm like, that's what it came from. It's just, like, going back to our roots, to what we know. You know, it wasn't, we wasn't thinking when we said gospel rap is back... It, we wouldn't think about nobody but us, you know, our life and, and what we were that. at that point in time. And, and and that's pretty much what it's been. It's like, like you said, people that's, you know, oh, it never left you. If it never left, it never left you. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? But we witnessed people that were in the same boat as us. So yeah. we speaking for those people, you know what for I'm sure. saying? Yeah. But And giving them and, and, and giving them inspiration to come yeah. back to it. Cause yeah. Yeah, right. It's a lot of folks who, and y'all y'all know what I'm talking about, it's a lot of people who, who done been, been in this space, been in the culture, and just said, man, hey, man, I'm gone. Cause I, know. I think, I think I a lot have. I think they a lot have. You know what I'm I saying? I feel like they were trying to put on for something that they, you know what I'm saying, that it's, it's not... Meant for them, and it's like, a lot of people really still. Agree with that. That's, it's that's a lot of people like, still putting on, with that. and you know, well, what, what, what you mean by can you can you like elaborate on when you say putting on for something that wasn't meant for them? Like I just licked the mic. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that, that boy spitting. <laughs> yeah, I just lit the mic, man. Hey, like, uh, I don't know. You, you mean, uh, I did it, Cole. You, 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 uh, yeah. you, you mean jamming to that, uh, to that, that spiritual take? No, that, uh, for real. That's crazy. Oh, you said the spiritual take. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. What, what I was just talking about? No, nah, um, like, talk about when you say it wasn't, they're pitting on something that wasn't meant for them. Like, why, why, why is it important for you? Like, what, what is the reason why you feel like, man, comfortable to like be yourself in this space and not run off like some have mm -hmm. or try to be standoffish like some are, you know what I'm saying? Man, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just, I guess that's just the type of person I yeah. am personally. Like, I'm I, just. I feel like there's two songs. Well, you said, you mentioned the Church has Trap House featuring um 1KP song. Yeah. That song, man, talk about that record. Just talk about why that song is important for you as a as as like someone I, who's been saying gospel rap is bad. Why like is that song a, important? I feel like it's a whole bunch of folks, especially in Atlanta, well, really around the world, but since I'm being from Atlanta, I'm, I'm saying Atlanta, it's a whole bunch of folks in the city who got the same story I have, but just don't know how to tell it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Even the street, street folks, like they, most of these folks come up from church. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, and they got the same exact story I got. Lil, Lil Uzi. But it's like nobody's, nobody's saying that though. Right. Nobody's, no, bro, my church was right next to a trap house. Like, nobody's saying sure. that. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like it's my job, his job, and like mm. a couple other jobs to really display that. You feel what I'm saying? And really make people feel comfortable. Be like, oh, dang, it's somebody out there with the same story I got. I mean, when I heard yeah. that song, man, I resonated with it, man, because, you know, I grew up a preacher's kid, and literally, you know, I'm from Gwinnett, from the suburbs, but my church was in Cleveland Avenue mm. in the hood. Mm -hmm. And across the street from my church was a was a band though. Right. You know what I'm saying? A trap house. So it was like when I heard that song, I was like And the church band went to go pick go, the, They the, went in there to get I don't want to call them junkies, but they went to go pick the, them up. Brought the uh what the community ministry back. They called the community community ministry. They fed them. Man. Uh, brought them to church. And and that's a, I seen a lot of stuff that I wasn't even supposed to be saying at a younger age that I that I guess was supposed to be what, cool, uncool. I, yeah. I was so young, I didn't even know culture for real. You I mean, I feel like it, didn't it kind of eventually some of what you saw outside in the world creep into you? Because on, on your song "Safe," I mean, if you grew up in the church, that's one thing. But on a song like "Safe," you talking about how you had to kind of like kind of flee the streets. Mm -hmm. So, like, at what point did you feel like you was in the church, but did the the streets kind of kind of got a hold on you? Because I feel like on "Safe," that record kind of explains that a little bit and just talks to you know a church kid who got caught up. That's, that's what it kind of feels like. Right. You know what I'm saying? Really, just the older I got and the more I understood stuff is, you know, when I kind of went left. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Because I, feel you. I ain't gonna lie, like my sister, she's she's actually the one who introduced me to gospel rap. And um, shout out sister. No, nah, for sure. For I got sure. an older cousin that did, that did that for me. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, for real. And then like I, I was super young though, and I, and 
Like I had to type, I had to type folks like we had to go to church. You feel what I'm saying? If you listen to rap music, boy, it better be gospel rap. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to, boy, I had to sneak and do everything, mm, boy. Yeah. Bro. So uh Yeah. But now nah, long story short, um, I was on I was on cross movement. Like I was on like God's son. I was on all them folks early on, but I ain't gonna lie, like middle school kind of did it for me. Like when I got as soon as I got to middle school, boy, set money and drugs. Boy. Like no. off the muscle. Off like the it, muscle. it was just it Yo, wasn't middle even, school, middle school. It wasn't is, even an introduction. It was where, boom. Yo. Where it went down. Mm. No, for middle sure. school is, yeah. That is like the the devil's like like gotcha that's moment. When you, like, yeah. your, all your hormones are you're like, most, yes, you're yes. most vulnerable. Fact. You're middle very school. vulnerable. Fact. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely identity. want to talk about that some more, man. after this break, I feel like there's so much dope conversation happening. So let's stay tuned, man. It's the one one six life on Holy Culture Radio. Sirius Channel 154. I'm your co I'm your host, Ace Harris, with my man. DJ Mike Helvey. And my Samuel man. Samuel Jackson. <laughs> 1KP son. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is the 116 Life on Holy Coach Radio. Um, Sirius Channel 154. I'm your host, Ace Harris. I'm here with DJ Mike Helvey, Samuel Jackson, and uh, 1KP son. Hey, what's PID? Y'all talking about I got PID on tape. What that is? Oh, no. I don't know what that is, but... What? Oh, he's talking Cross Movement. I think that's an album from Cross Movement. Oh, okay. from Cross Movement. But man, we're having an honest conversation. We was talking about middle school, the journey of 1K Few, 1K P Son, of being kids in the church, and then being in the church where the trap house across the street, and then the, the culture around them, influencing them. And 1K Few talked about middle school, and I just wanted to like pause and kind of have him elaborate about that middle school moment, because I think it's a lot to, that can come out of that. And you were saying something too, P Son, about how like, it's cool for our, you know, to have those moments where you feel like um, you want our kids not to be so sheltered, but mm -hmm. to go through things. But there's some decisions you can make either at middle school or high school that you can't yeah. come back from. Like, talk yeah. about that a little bit. Uh, basically, like, you know, people don't, you know, kind of hammer it down on a lot of the stuff that we had the grace of God that we got away with. But, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Michael was saying, he would, I would want my kids to, you know, understand where I'm coming from when I tell them don't do this and don't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But I don't want them to... Like fully go through Fully go through it. Yeah. I just want you to get a little I taste. I want you to like learn right. the lesson without right. going through the trial. Right, right. You know yeah. But sure. it's... Yeah. Can, can, so real real spill, you know, we're talking about, you know, you know faith, culture, and music. The, the, the three things, you know, the three buckets that we sit in mm -hmm. and everything we do could we be sitting here and learn those lessons without going through those trials? Not at all. No, mm. not at all. And so I, I just mm. you can't. The, yeah, you know, the, the, you can't relate to them exactly. Mm. And and then like what like what you're saying, how you're like yo, like some people, if they would have went through what we went through, they wouldn't have come back. That actually makes me more thankful and, and makes God's grace more tangible. Because it's like yo, we Sheesh. all went through our collective experiences, mm -hmm. and it's like we're here in this yeah. place of faith. And this place of being radically changed by the gospel, mm. radically changed by the Holy Spirit, mm. and able to talk into faith and culture and different things that people are still a part of, mm. right? Yeah. And we're like, damn, I lost my thought. It's out. It's gone. <laughs> hey, he, yo, he laughed. You he laughed at me. It took me out. No, no, it took me out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry, out. sorry. There was, there was some background. Hey, nah, ADD there, brothers. There, there, there was, Satan had put some yeah. uh, distraction. It, it was there. And yeah. then he laughed. I, 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 I was falling you. away. Like, we, we was up. <laughs> All, all the way to like even this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think, so one thing about Reach Records is you never know what you're gonna get in the background. Yo. So in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the moment of a Yo. really sincere testimony Yo. and Yo. life moment, you're gonna Yo. see things that are gonna, you know, it's, you know, it's gonna, Yo, it's, it's, it's gonna be things gonna, it's, it's gonna feel like a stumbling block. Right. Dang, and you, you just gonna have Yo, to stay, keep your eyes morning, on the prize. Dude. Right. Right. Because you may see things. Exactly. Hallelujah. That may not be influences. What you see. <laughs> Our little influences. Oh, but um, but, but you know what I was saying was, but, yeah. I'm glad that we went through what we went through. Absolutely. Because we're in this place now where we're able to relate to people, yeah. be authentic to ourselves, right. and mm -hmm. be authentic to who Christ has like reformed us into, right. and still be able to be on both lanes. I mean, I, yeah. I feel like. We can kind of consider ourselves like double agents in a way, because it's yeah. like there's people that there's people that are in the church, church that we go to or we see that can't get through the people that we grew up with Fact. or that we see on a daily. That's real. But we can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. that's because of what we went through. That is and, fact. Now go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, peace out. And yeah. I think like even with just discipline and with like how we raise our kids, like even now it's like 
people be like mental health, like with children. You know what I'm saying? They can't, they skin ain't tough. So I'm like, man, you a boy, but yeah, you know no, what I'm yeah, saying? no, me, me too. But it's me like too. today's society is like, no, no, you gotta, you gotta talk to them. So now, yeah, now like the littlest things. You know, any being minor real, inconvenience. You know, kids be ready to commit suicide and thinking their world is over. And we like, what? Mm. Suck it up, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it's like, it's like it's it's helpful and it's hurtful mm. to protect them because the more you protect them, the more they're not exposed to, and the more. Yeah. At the end of the day, they still got to go out in the real world. Yeah. They still got to go right. out in the Away real world. You. They still got to do the same things we did. Right. But we can protect them to this point. So when they get to the real world, so when they get to 17, 18, mm. it's like, all right, I'm trying to wing you off, yeah. but it's not registering. I'm You're not ready. So you got a lot of older 25, 30, they, they leaving the house later now. So yeah. it's like, oh, that's a, that's and a more hook. mental like, Unstability, like so. That's why I feel like mental health is at an all-time high now because it's like the stuff we went to it through it it shaped and molded us mm. and it gave us tougher skin. And so it's oh, like okay. now that that the world has changed, we can appreciate everything has changed too. But yeah. our kids, this is just their this their everyday life. They ain't mm. seen nothing different. So it's like you don't know like what an iPhone, how convenient it is. Yeah. Right, compared to a, yeah. a flip phone, like, yeah, you know what I'm or saying? no phone, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To like yeah, piggyback so. on like what you're saying about that, I kind of agree in the sense of, I think we have a lack of trust in God, so we try to play God in mm. kids' lives. Mm. So what I mean by that is, hold on, mm. can you just stop that? That that's amazing. Bro. Yeah, moment silence. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this man, it boy snapping today. <laughs> hey, 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 my, hey, hey, I'm getting the clips today, man. Yeah, I've sure, been seeing these one one six life clips and your face been on them. It's my yo, turn, buddy. Yo, <laughs> quote, yo, quote me. Now nah, I'm playing. Uh, but I, I say that because people want to protect their kids because mm. they're afraid that their kids will either go through what they went through or it's like, I'm not going to be there. So they're going to get hurt. And I don't mm. want my kids to get hurt. Right. So we try to play God. And let mm. me let me form and shape the narrative of their life or how they see things or in what way they see things or when they see things because I'm trying to protect them. It's all from love. It's not a bad place. Sure. It's from love, but it's like from that and you personally not trusting God, now like trusting God with your kids, like you want to control your kids and you're yeah. not trusting God with yeah. your kids. In that happening, now your kids are low-key like how you said. It's like all oh, like not that they're not tough, but it's more so like, oh, like they're not as seasoned as other kids yeah, that right. do go through things mm. or like have yeah. experienced things. And when they do go through difficulty or any minor inconvenience, it throws them off course. Mm. But that's because you kind of put them in this like uh, created thing to like they can, hey, you can do whatever you want in here. Mm. Mm. And I'm not going to let anything from out there come that's in good. here. I, I, yeah. I think we should. But at yeah. the end of the day, you still got to. Let them come go. Out of it. Yeah, exactly. But people don't out. think about that. People right. think about the now. Right. What can I do for my kids now? And they don't even think about, yo, later on in their life, how is this going to affect them that they did not experience this? That's real. It's like you can either um, prepare, you know, what's that, what's that quote I heard? It's like you can either like prepare the road for your children or you can prepare your children for the road. Mm. Mm. And a lot of times parents, we're trying to like fix the road, road. so that the kid uh, can walk through it easily. Geez. Wow. But you gotta let them. You gotta prepare them so they can walk through the road, through any terrain, any mm. dips, any like stuff in the road. So Especially they, in Atlanta, cause they don't it, never fix the road. <laughs> <laughs> never fix the road. Never. A lot, lot of potholes. Them potholes on, on Northside Drive, bro. Boy, what? Potholes but, older than me, bro. <laughs> nah, for real. But honestly, I want to. I want to sit here a little bit about like, you know, especially y'all, and just being as being fathers, man, as being men of God, as being you know black fathers, like. How does it feel, you know, coming through what you went through, being a dad, being a new dad? How do, how do y'all process all that in your everyday life and still find a way to, like, be true to God, be true to your family, make dope music, look this fly? Like, what does it look like? You know what I'm saying? Fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? What, talk about the real. Because I think people see, like, they see the drip, they see the Instagram, they see the content. But what's, the, what's, what's Glenn Isaac Gordon like? God, Dang, dog. Hey, 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 edit I, that out. I, I, edit that I, I out. I pray. <laughs> I pray ain't no officers on you. <laughs> That's his name. Hey, I only Yo. put it out there because it's good. It's, you can Wikipedia anyway. So go ahead. <laughs> this man. Uh, welcome to the podcast, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but nah. Uh, <laughs> you start getting mad Facebook requests? Right. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, bro. Lit. But, <laughs> Sorry, oh, brother. Crazy. I'm talking I'm about, about, about to edit that out. <laughs> I thought his name was Futavius. <laughs> <laughs> That's out the bag. Now. I thought his name was Otto. <laughs> right. Wait. So his name is not One K Few. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. God. No. no Somebody's world just shattered right now, bro. Like, I'm so well, dead right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, uh, but nah. Um, Batman. Nah. <laughs> you stupid. He say he talking about Batman. <laughs> but nah, I feel like uh, repeat your question one more time. Not, like, how is it? How does it feel? How do you be a father in the midst of everything? Still hold it all together. Talk about the real life of being like yeah. fatherhood as an artist, as a man of God, like so, juggling all of that. You know what I'm saying? So you just you gotta follow God and not try to be God. Really, that's, that's real. I mean, because it's like even like as a father, like having kids and stuff, it's like you really, you really kind of learn. The type of grace God got for us, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying, and it's that's like good. um that's really what I'm learning. I'm learning patience. I'm learning love, uh, like kindness. Uh, did I say patience? Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like patience. for real, like and patience, patience and and more patience. Yeah. But nah, that that's really what it is, and it's really you just gotta you gotta mature your mindset and your whole just everything really right. because you it's like I had I personally had to learn how to be a servant. Mm. You feel what I'm that's saying? Good. I had to learn how to be a servant because I was like hella selfish at first yeah. and just everything, me, me, me. And and, and really being selfish is kind of, it, it's kind of easy to be selfish without even knowing because in your head you can be like, all right, I'm doing this for us. But really it's like, nah, bro, it's, it's really. Because it's convenient. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so why was it something that wasn't like, why did you have to learn? Like what about the way you were living um, made it like not like something that you were like obviously pursuing. Like why why wasn't it like something that was like you know what I'm saying automatic. You know what I'm saying. In terms what you mean of, saying, like, like being a servant. Why was yeah. it, why why wasn't it something? Oh, that, why wasn't it automatic? Yeah, yeah. Cause like it was just I just wasn't mature. That's that's what I'm trying to I'm trying to pull it out because I yeah, feel like yeah yeah I just wasn't I, you, I really you you, just, you, you, don't you know had the, kids you don't know to do it. Fact you fact. don't know it's like it ain't a manual so it's like. Like he said, I'm doing this for us, but mm. wifey ain't understanding that. The kids mm. ain't understanding so that real, daddy bro. ain't here because he doing, nah, you right. ain't here. Right. So now you got to learn balance. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think it's important for y'all to say that because I feel like service and servanthood is something that isn't like popular. Right, for sure. Especially like, talk about y'all being artists and being rappers. I feel there's an other side of the coin of being like, Real men, real husbands, real fathers, yeah. and being someone that's serving your serving your family. Because I mean, I feel like that'd be the hardest ministry right there. Not for real. That'd be the Not front lines. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's, it's, really it's, 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 it'd be the main one. So like, shout out y'all for and doing that. It's not that. easy too. Like, it, it it really be main one. And then like, we definitely done got better with ours. Because it's yeah. like with me, it was like it, it's cool like getting love from the fans and stuff like that. But yeah. it ain't nothing like coming coming home from everybody showing you love, taking pictures and. Mm. Not saying you ain't really getting that at the house because right. you ain't serving. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then that's what I really had to learn. I'm like, dang, bro, I, if I ain't putting nothing here, I'm, I'm putting all my energy out here. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. And, I, um, I know I can really serve in the wrong I, ministry. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I had to learn how to be, because at first, you know, with, like the Superman Clark Kent thing, I always say, it's like, I I, I try to, uh, I used to think you had to be Clark Kent and then be Superman for, you know what I'm saying, for the world, but it's like, nah, it's the opposite. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you gotta be Superman at home. It's amazing. And you gotta show the world the real. That's that's amazing. Well, you gotta show the real at all times. But like, yeah, basically, like almost go harder. For sure, you gotta at, go harder at, 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 at the you gotta house. Go harder at the house. Harder at the house. Because I mean, you know what? I mean, I feel like we probably all know people in culture and hip hop that may have all the W's. You know what I'm saying outside the home, but you know, I wonder how people's personal life is. In What's shambles? Yeah, exactly. How's they faith? How's they faith? How they family? Bro, yeah. for real, you know what I'm saying? I know that bank accounts is, is 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 on ten, but you know. I think that's why I never. The older I got, the, I never like idolized like internet couples mm. or like people or like envied people because I'm like, yo, you could be really like visually and aesthetically, you could be like on top of the world on social media, but mm. when you get home, you got to deal with yourself. And I don't want to you know, know how that feels. Tell me, bro. <laughs> right. All about perception. And people be so hypnotized to social media, bro. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, they got this going on, they got that going on, but yeah. it's like, no, nah, you don't know. They got they got two toes. Like, <laughs> Right, and you want to switch places with them? Right, they taking that they arm walking, off. They walking in faith. Yo. You know what I'm saying? I feel right. like you clap better than me. You got a fake arm. <laughs> exactly. Hey, yo. exactly. 
Like, Shout out no, I don't even know where to go from here. But I will say this. Um I, I definitely speaking of social media, I want to get into this on the next segment. So you said you want to be Clark Kent publicly Superman at home. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you Superman and on both spectrums, to be honest. The way you be killing your socials, man, the way you're like putting out content, developing your brand. So definitely want to talk about that in the next segment and definitely have you get into that more. So stay tuned. This is the one one six life. On Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. I'm Matt Ace Harris here with DJ Mike LV. And I'm going to let them. I ain't going to let one few K-P-Song. say it's government because he, he going he gonna to be on my head after this for that. So <laughs> y'all stay tuned. Hey, I need right a jingle. Back. Say what? I need a jingle. I think we got, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. MBK. <laughs> 116. Have, Have it your way. All right, we'll be right back. 116 Life. Welcome Man, back. Wow. This is the 116 Life <laughs> on Holy Culture Radio Series Channel 154. And I'm in with my with my people, man. Every time yeah. I get with 1K Fuel and 1K Peace, and I just can't stop laughing because these dudes are hilarious. And honestly, like you, you, you add Michael and V in the building, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I feel like I'm got, the uncle on the shit. <laughs> like, I feel like we're the responsible one here, bro. Yo, I'm, 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 I'm like, everything I say, I just have to watch myself because I'm like, there's a lot going on in the set. It, it was, y'all. Um, so speaking of uh, socials, man, Fuel, you, you've been killing it. Like, I feel like you should give like a master class on social content because you're so fast on your phone. You be having the flyest content. What should be doing? Like what? What is it? What's the what's the cheat code? Like what goes on in your brain when you be posting this amazing content? Uh, uh to be honest, I don't think I'm all the way there in the head. It's like I'm well, kinda, well, that, <laughs> <laughs> like, so well, I that just part be, we we yeah, I just always be thinking of, about just no, different he, stuff to do like. I don't know, like, and then I got ADHD too, so it's like if I, bro, same, bro, for so, yeah, oh, that's same, see, that's bro. why we locked in. Uh, if he drew it, you would understand. What <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, I wish we had it. <laughs> I gotta draw it out. You gotta. <laughs> no, Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I think having ADHD when it comes to being creative is actually oh, very yeah. beneficial because you sure. can do eighty things at once for and do sure. them really good. And with us, like, I'm talking ADHD about ADHD and uh, being a lefty. Really? You, you, you right? You left hand, right hand. I'm right handed. I'm right. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not ambidextrous. Mm. That's that's his. You, you left handed. Oh, you left handed. Bro, left-handed. you know that left handed uh, people are like ten percent or twelve percent smarter than the, the right hand people. Wow. Cat. That's wow. Like, you saw a cat. with the ADA. Keep mixing up. <laughs> Mix that in there. You got some some superpowers. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Man, I want ADA. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, no, you don't. <laughs> Um, yeah, not for real way. though. Okay, so <laughs> one thing that stood out to me recently, you've been very intense. Even though you say you have ADHD, you've been super like strategic, organized, and specific with your content. Like yeah. your Bible stories series, bro. Yeah, genius, bro. Them yeah. Bibles, bro. Shout out to my bro Matthew Hudson too, man. Uh, that's some me and him kind of created together. Cause we started at first. We started this. This how I really I started. The Stella Award. Somebody interviewed me. Um, dang, I wish I remember. I remember, that I remember I, this. I remember. I was shouting them out. Dang, I, I can't think of the platform right now. But uh, they, they, they was asking me like to fill in the blanks of Bible stories type I thing. That segment. And um, I just was, I, I knew the word, I knew it, but I just it wasn't in, in my you know, words. Was gonna, you know, he somebody okay. wasn't in me. <laughs> nah, like she, she asked, the first one she, well, she asked me, I, I that, hit though. it. Like she kind of wrong for that. What, what, the first one she was like, "The Lord is my shepherd." I told her, "I, I don't want nothing." You feel what I'm saying? So I, <laughs> yeah, for real. I don't want it. Whatever it is, I don't, I don't want, it. want it. So from that, we was like, oh yeah, we gotta go crazy with this. So um, I hit up Matthew Hudson, and we just kind of well, we started with the uh, filling the blanks, mm. and then um, I think we did uh, we did Cain and Abel. Yes. It was like uh, bro, bro, he was like, bro, tell a Bible story, like tell a story. And I'm like, all right, bet. So we tried that, and uh, everybody was loving it. And then we just start doing it. But the dope part about that is. It's like, as I'm doing those, it's like, I'm really sharpening myself up on game, too. Mm, you feel what I'm saying? Because right. even like in, um, what, what story we were doing? Uh, the Prodigal Son. Yeah, it's yeah. Like I, it's like, I'm like, dang, bro, I didn't even know, bro, he did all this. Like, went to the pig pen and went crazy like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. And, 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 I, and it's like, it's crazy because as a kid, I've been hearing these stories, but sure. I, I'm a kid. I'm not really listening because my folks making me go to church. I feel you. But I it's like, you. So, I, so I'm, I, know, I know these stories, but I don't know them. Right, you feel what right. I'm saying? So it's like, for me, it's like, not only is people listening to what I'm doing, sharpening they, you know, yeah. uh, Bible knowledge, but I'm sharpening mine too. Nah, you yeah. you snap because like people that not like super like CHH fans, people, some of my friends, they hit me about your post. Mm. It was like, bro, this is hilarious. And I was like, so I knew it was reaching 
which is the whole man. The reason why we do what we do, yep. the one one six. Like if we ain't masses. if we ain't reaching people outside of our four wall, outside so. of our space with this faith culture and music. I mean, what, what are, are you we doing? doing? Exactly, exactly. Damn. And so he hit me. I was like, man, if you honor something, you're oh, literally man. preaching the gospel in your own. Forget slang. It's it's like a dial. Atlanta is a dialect. Yeah, mm. like the way yeah. you communicate, bro. It's like a dialect. The way right. you would say like Caribbean music, like it's it's a whole like sauce that I feel like some people try to like talk down on it. They, mm-hmm. they just don't get it. Yeah, I'm like you. You just gotta know like y'all speaking your own dialect, and it's super dope how you did that, man. Nah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Nah, and then that's another thing too. I just want to say too, like just to everybody watching, bro. Like yeah. don't be scared to be yourself. Like I can't stop preaching that enough. Like because that's. That yeah. was me, like coming in when I first got signed, coming in, like mm-hmm. I was not myself, boy. Like I was trying to put on, but it's like the more like I got more comfortable, the more I understood my purpose and His promise for my life. Like that's when I really started being intentional with everything, and really started to have everything make sense and come sure. together, like for real. So it's like just everybody, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, like just y'all be yourself, bro. Like all this, I'm the Christian version of this, I'm the Christian version of that. Like nah, like be the best version of yourself. Like and then that's when everybody every. Right, because we already dope. We don't got to prove ourselves to really nobody. For sure, bro. Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? We already dope. Like, God made us that way, so. For my, sure. Just be the best version of you. Like, that's, that's I really got to say that. Think that you can't say, you can't, you can't say that enough, you. Yeah, you can't. Sure. And I also feel like, speaking of your social content, I mean, I know like Mike Kelvin, you probably agree, seeing how he's been moving. You did a post with like the lean with it, rock with it. Tell, talk to us about. Oh, yeah. No, something sure. that you were starting, because I ain't gonna lie, we was in the office. Sometimes, well, this is one thing about Few, I say. Few move like, he moves like he don't have people. Like, Few moves like an independent artist. The in, in the best in the best way. That's the in best, the best way. That's the best he, artist to have on a label. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yo, so. Few is like, yeah, Reach, catch up. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, nah, I, but, but, I shout, but shout out Reach Records, though. I got to say, right, when, you, when you brought, brought them no, up, like, because, sure. like, even being, me being signed to Reach, like, I done learned so many things. I done matured in so many ways, learned so many lessons and really understood the business. I feel like Reach is um is really, I don't even think it's a label like Reach out there, bro. Like to give you as much as freedom and not saying it's that as they give me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it's like you said, it's like I, I really, I really be on my own way type thing yeah. and, and, and really just be trying to figure it out. But um, but Reach is always behind it. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? They ain't never just shut anything I did down. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like it ain't no labels out there like that. Man, I appreciate that. We we ain't perfect. We try. It's, mm. We we try. We no, try. We're so. just trying to make sure that you feel seen, that you feel validated in who you are, being like you said, being who you are. Yeah. And we ain't gonna catch everything. That's why I just wanna let this be a place where we amplify some of your dreams and some of your visions that you have that we just honestly just gonna miss. And I feel like oh. when I saw that lean with it post, we was in the office talking about it. I think mm-hmm. were you here at the time? I feel like No, nah, I wasn't here. Uh, but it was like we saw um <laughs> Yo, how you took the uh, franchise boys mm-hmm. and flipped it, but then yeah. it was different because you kind of had like a choir in the back. Like, talk, yeah. talk to us about what you were starting then and what may be coming now with what you're doing with One KP, son. Man, it's it, it, it's it, everything about that is just authentic, man. Like shout out to Radical Revolution. I gotta say that, man. That's mm. the, Radical Revolution. That's the, that that's the whole. You know what I'm saying that that's the gang. You feel what I'm saying? So um, we starting that, and we're really just really just being authentic in in, in what we're doing, like. We're um, I'm saying we 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 re, re, representing a relationship. You know what I'm saying we really got a whole slogan. I just I just messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's too, too many R's, you know what I'm saying? Restoring, <laughs> yeah, we restoring, yeah. we were restoring and renewing the relationship. What I say? You said you're <laughs> radicalizing the revolution. <laughs> we're, ra- we're recycling. We're radicalizing Christians. <laughs> <laughs> we're oh, so. reform radicalizing revolution reformers. <laughs> yeah, yo, <laughs> if you before we go, I actually there's one thing that I appreciate you for, um. And also just the, the whole family because you're bringing gospel rap into CHH. Mm. So what I mean by that right. is a lot of people don't know who Kent Jones is. Yeah. A lot of people don't know, you know what I'm saying, that that sect of music. Facts. And I feel like you embracing it now, you're bringing it into that fold. Sheesh. And I feel like you're, you're, I think you're number one in an, if I was to divide the two, mm-hmm. I think you're number one in gospel rap, mm-hmm. and you're bringing that into CHH. So like mm-hmm. you're like the top over here, and you're top over here. And you're like, yo, 
this doesn't have to be a thing where it's separated. Because yeah. for the longest time, it, it always was separated. For so, for so. Always, yeah. It very much was like, yeah. for so. yo, gospel rappers, y'all. Yeah, y'all yeah. stay over there. Exactly. exactly. Christian hip hop artists, we're gonna stay over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. We gonna, you know what I'm That's saying? True. Exactly. And I, exactly. but I appreciate you for starting to build a bridge for that. Mm. That's so for so. pivotal what you just said. So, nah, bro. Man, real, give man. For so. Shout out, shout out. Thank you for you. saying Thank that, you, my brother. Thank shout you out for real. radical. Thank you. Y'all want to get the offering so. out, or y'all want to wait till? <laughs> uh, so y'all got my offering out. Right? Yeah. Father Abraham. <laughs> 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 Yo, hey, it's going down at the, the one one six life. Shots fired. Oh, oh, hey, was, 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 that, that was that shot for that government name. I, I felt it. I felt it. You crazy? I, I, um, I mean, nah, yeah. Man. So, so, tell like if you could uh, tell us or tell the audience. I know you said it. Like, can you explain in simple like what is radical revolution and what do you guys hope to accomplish? Just so that. They can get a sense of what you guys are building. Man, it's a whole, it's a whole group of us, it's a whole collective of us. Um, really just unashamed to be ourselves. It's like we 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 bringing like our culture back, like like we were saying, like me and him, like we grew up in church like all our life, really. And um and, and specifically like black church, you feel what I'm For saying? For sure. And um, I don't know, it's just a different culture that we was used to, you feel what I'm saying, just coming up. And um, we just really want to get back to it. Like we really just wanna we wanna mm-hmm. have fun, man. Like we trying to yeah. We're trying to mm. really turn up, but get back to those roots. Those. Yeah, like get back to the real roots. But um, I can we can really show y'all better than we hey, can tell y'all. You feel what I'm stay saying? Stay tuned but, for that. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. is, is there anything that you feel like um is missing in like Christian hip hop, gospel rap, Christian industry, the church? What's something that you feel like ah, we need to do better? Not as a critique, but as a challenge mm-hmm. for people that are like tuning in. Because I feel like people don't view you as enough as like someone who has a voice. I feel like you are a voice. You're like a leader. Kind of what to what Mike Michael V was just saying. You're a leader and what you and Peace on our building. What's something you feel like is missing in like either church culture, CHH, gospel rap that's like needs to be said. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people just need to be authentically themselves. People ain't being that no more. It's like they see something and then that's what I gotta do now. They over here now, we gotta go over here now. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like if everybody just, you know, stop copying everybody, just being, you know, straight up, mm-hmm. it's like it'll be more, like, even I'm in school, it's SAE, you know what I'm saying? And my teacher was discussing that. He was like, uh, music wasn't, it's, it, the beauty of music is it's always developing. It don't supposed to stop. Hip hop wasn't supposed to stop. It's supposed to develop and keep going. Mm. And that's like, that's what we supposed to do. Instead of just uh, getting hopping in one basket and following one person, we all supposed to be developing new sounds and and supporting the Support. the hottest new sound. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to evolve. And right now, I feel like mm. if one person is successful over here, then everybody coming to copy them. One person, even all the way, one person do a t-shirt brand. Everybody's doing t shirt mm. brand. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. That's I, good, that's I feel good, like that's people yeah. need to go deep within themselves and really, you know, connect with God and see what He really has for them to do. Mm-hmm. Because if 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 it's not what He has for you to do, yeah, it ain't gonna be blessed. It ain't gonna flourish. You know, He might He might allow you to get to a certain point, but it's like like Russ said, it'd be like a cap on it. Mm. So when you tap into what He's leading and guiding you. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna stop it. Like even with me, you know what I'm saying. Like, I that's that's my whole thing. I never wanted to get caught up in to following people or or just copying. Oh, everybody sound like this. No, I want to be authentically myself. And even if that's just sitting down, God had to kind of sit me down. And you know, luckily He had me with my bro, and He was pulling me along. But at the same time, I had to sit down and just like, all right, God, I don't want to do this. Cause it was a point I was like, man, I'm about to quit. If this is what it's about to be, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be mm-hmm. doing music because it's like it's not real, it's not authentic. You know what I'm saying? But sure. you know, God showed me how to do that, and then you know He opened doors, so we we still moving. So man, that's great, man. I think that's a, that's a that's a lot has been said, man. Well, I, I think we're gonna probably you know wrap it up here. I just want to just say you know, I think we got to give one K few man his his flowers. I feel like. You probably you. I feel like I've affirmed you <laughs> privately, but I just want to say publicly, man. 
shout out to the man you become, man. Uh, for real, bro. Like, uh, I, you know, behind behind them shades is under that cap. Behind them shades, under that cap. Is a real man of God. I've seen how you you know carry and how how you have conversations about your your family. Um, yeah. How you care for others, how you lead people, and how you're just honestly pursuing God in the way He made you, mm-hmm. and being intentional with that with that platform. I just want to say, for people, not that there are critics or naysayers, but for people who sometimes may side eye the way you express your faith in God, I just want to affirm you like you're doing a great job, bro. Facts. So, yeah. and so yeah. keep it going, man. Gospel rap is back, and it ain't going nowhere as long as so, these two so, is in the sure. building, man. So, yeah. out, so, and I just want to piggyback off of that too. You know, it just really being his, you know, right here with him. This man really like it's like that he really loved God. Mm. It, it's been an honor to you know walk with him and, and watch him because like even back w- w- from the you know maturity stage, like I got to witness this and see what God doing, and he always mm. you know put God first. He gonna. He gonna pray you out the room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's for, like, sure, for sure. He really like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna salute my bro like publicly, cause he already know how I feel about him. But at the same time, everything you saying, you know, that's that's real because he, he family first. Yeah. He, every time we on the road, he's trying to get back to the family. Man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no craziness, ain't nothing that he like he a real leader and I and, and a lot of people don't for those people who like, why why him? I definitely see why. God chose him because mm. he really a man of God, and you know what I'm saying. It, it, it's 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 been a privilege. That's amazing, man. With him, you know what I'm saying. Whew. Hey man, y'all, y'all, gonna, y'all got some uh, you got the, uh, some onions in here or something, man. <laughs> they kind of kind of toasty in here. <laughs> Third episode, so, H Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is um. I was gonna kick back. This has been an amazing episode on the One One Six Life Holy Culture Radio Series Channel One Five Four. Um, with 1K Fuel, 1K P Sun, DJ Mike LV. I'm your host, Ace Harris. See y'all next time. Tune in. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs>